Good day, everyone. My name is Billy, and in this channel, I talk about stocks, real estate, finance, and the economy. In the previous video, we were able to see how much I generated in extra income, including dividends and options for the month of April. Now, in this video, we're going to see what happened in the month of May. Now, let's get to it. And remember, I am not a financial advisor. Please make sure to consult an appropriate advisor and do your own research before making any investing decisions. As you can see here, guys, the month of May was kind of light compared to the other months. Dividends that I got in the month of May was $130. In cover calls, I was able to generate $36 and no cash secure puts, no call options, no put options. I'll tell you the reasons in a few. Now, let's see the details where these dividends and options came from. Now, as we see in this chart, guys, dividends are represented for the orange bars and options are represented in the green lines. Just by this chart alone, you know, only one stock. I was able to generate just one stock in options. The rest was dividends. Now, let's get to the dividends in Jeppy. Jeppy, I received $44.33 of Jeppy, the monthly payer. Second, another monthly payer, Main Street Capital, guys, $23.45. Charles Schwab, $5. And AT&T, guys. AT&T was $56 in AT&T. All of that netted me for a total dividends of $130 for the month of May. Now, in options, in plug power was the only option play that I did on the month of May. And the reason is, guys, this is after earning season. This was the AI boom. During this month, guys, I did not wanted it to miss out on any upside. Therefore, I did not. I was very, very careful in what I did. Remember, guys, when we play in the upside and when we're in a bull market and the AI boom, as quickly as they went up, that's as quick as they can come down, guys. So be really, really careful. That's why I didn't play any option. That's the reason why I didn't play also any cash secure puts. Now, let's see the details of what happened with those dividends and this option from Plug Power. Here it is, guys. Now, dividends, guys. AT&T on May 1st. May 1st, AT&T received $56.30, reinvested those dividends immediately, and I was able to acquire three shares, 3.1 or 3.2 shares of AT&T at a price of $17.65. Jeppy, another monthly payer, guys, received $45 of Jeppy, and I was able to reinvest these dividends immediately and acquire 0.84 of a share for a price of $54.10. Main Street Capital, guys, another monthly payer, Main Street Capital, received $23.45, reinvested those dividends. I was able to acquire 0.6 of a share at $39.64. Charles Schwab, guys, eh, Charles Schwab, I only have 20 shares. It contributed $5 in dividends. Eh, I did reinvest those dividends to acquire 0.9, I mean, 0.01 of a share. <laughs> <laughs> for a price, average price of $53.90, guys. Plug power, guys. This is the only cover call. Well, not the only cover call, but this is the only stock that I play cover calls. Plug power. Open it on the on May 30th for strike day on the first three days later. $8.50 is strike price. Received $13.34. Closed it on the second. And I 100% of profit collected all $13.34, guys. And at this point, I let go plug power shares. It got assigned, so I got sold. And I collected $8.50 $8 per share. Four stock, guys. On four, I purchased new shares, 20 shares additionally of four for a cost of $12.58. Plug Power, once again, cover a call on Plug Power, uh, open on the 31st, 12, um, strike price of July 9th, nine days to close, $8.50, strike price, received $31 for this, closed it on the 6th for $8.86, collecting 72% of the call in profit, which netted me $22 in profit, guys. So in cover goals or options, I netted $36 for the month of April. But uh, remember, the reason why I did not, I was not heavily moving or doing a lot of option plays is once again, the AI boom, 
right after earnings and I did not want her to miss any upside guys. All of this together, $130 in dividends plus $36 in option, that'd be $166 for the month of May. Now, guys, what did you do for the month of May or what are you doing currently monthly to generate any extra income? Do you doing dividends only, dividends plus uh, options? Let me know in the comments below, guys. Any questions down below? Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget, guys, like, subscribe, and share this content, guys. If you found this uh, content helpful, just give it a thumbs up. Give me a comment below. Let me know what are you doing on your portfolio, guys. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.